Today we're going to be doing something I've done for the last couple years of Madden, the last two years. Uh, it's basically my own NFL honors for my team. We're giving away awards because uh, it's pretty much the end of the year for me at this point. What I usually do is I give awards out uh, guys throughout the entire year of my team. MVP, Offensive Player of the Year, rookie, uh, Offensive Rookie of the Year, Defensive Rookie of the Year, Worst Player of the Year, stuff like that. And it just, it just, you know, I look it back at all the cards I've used through the entire year. You know, you know, just basically, I, 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 I remember any. If I look at a card, I can remember everything I've done with that card and be like, okay, I remember you. I remember you changed the game when you came at. You had disabilities. You were just amazing on the field, etc., etc. That is basically what this video is. So we got a lot of awards to give out. We got worst player of the year, comeback player of the year, both the rookies, defense, offense, MVP, the whole thing. We're gonna go over some runner-ups, explain why they were not able to win the award, but why they had a chance to win the award. The whole thing man let's get into it so the first award we are going to be giving out is going to be the worst player of the year award now michael vick the running back is sadly not the uh winner of this award he's the candidate every time we're gonna get we got uh two runners up basically for each award the michael vick running back was one of the runner-ups i hated this card i was so excited i remember when the card came out because i remember the michael vick running back card for man 22 he was great i used that card almost the whole year I had the running back committee in 22. Everything was great. So I'm thinking, okay, we're going to bring this back for 24 just to find out that they made this guy have the slide cancel animation, which is really just a killer animation for a running back. Uh, you know, I'm not trying to be make puns here and stuff, but uh, yeah, it ruined the, that slide cancel animation ruined the card and I sold this card instantly. Our final runner up for uh, worst player of the year is going to be Isaac Samalo and it's both of his cards. His quarterly left guard 83 overall and his playoff 94 overall card. Uh, probably the worst offensive lineman I've used in the game this year. His, but it's like it's like this every year with him. I don't understand what it is. Like he'll probably forever be a candidate because he just forever. I don't know what it is. He's six four three or three. He's not little by any means, but for some reason man this guy just cannot block him at and the worst player of the year is going to go to bryce young you guys remember the beginning of the year we were able to get this 84 overall bryce young qb car from the field pass which probably almost everybody used because it was a free card and you know what i mean he had you know not bad stats compared to all the other quarterbacks and he was a solid overall and it would have to been the most the biggest click i've ever seen I, I don't remember what this guy's release was but it was absolutely dog shit uh, he, he missed almost every throw like the inaccuracy with him were insane. He, he couldn't hit a throw to save his life I mean it, this card was just straight up terrible man the next reward. We are award I said reward the next award We're going to be giving out is going to be comeback player of the year first runner-up is going to be Deshaun Jackson uh, Last year he had that I think he got it was one card he got it was like a veteran card or something like that 96 97 maybe even 98 overall I can't remember but the problem with that is his AP was really, really bad on that card. And last year, you needed certain abilities on receivers for him to be really good. This year, it doesn't really matter. Like, Jukebox is probably the best ability low-key for a receiver this year. So, abilities aren't a big deal for the receiver. So, this Deshaun Jackson card when he came out was amazing because he's one of the fastest cards in the game. Had a solid juke, and he was just really good. So, a lot better card he got this year than last year. Our last runner-up for comeback player of the year is going to be DeAndre Swift. So, last year, DeAndre Swift didn't get like any cards like they at least for when he became an eagle and i decided to use him they were like beyond out of date and they weren't very good and i don't think they ever even got an eagle skin but i actually tried him out so uh you know he, he makes the list because of that because this year he actually got some usable cards the very beginning of the year he gets his ltd card i think it was because of the game he had against the vikings he had like 190 180 rushing yards went absolutely nuts uh he got this card and at first it was really good and you know then this became our running back for like the next two three months which was absolutely insane but uh he was overall a really good card i know he got the 93 also but this is the card i remember using vaguely because uh i used this card for months and months and months it was a really good card but i don't think it was anything spectacular but way better than last year this is a pretty easy one for me comeback player of the year is going to tj edwards i don't think there's ever been a madden in general where i was like yo i gotta use these tj edwards cards he always gets like these bogus just low overall cars that aren't very good and they're just they're just not good now last year i think i actually tried i think he got a campus hero card he got something last year and it just it just wasn't good the stats everything wasn't that very good i just i think i dished him after like one game or something like that it, it just wasn't a very good card so this year he gets this 97 
a uh, wild card Wednesday card, solid speed, really good abilities. I mean, he was th th this card was a beast for the time that I used him. The next award we are giving out is Defensive Rookie of the Year. So how I break down Defensive Rookie of the Year is basically uh, guys that I've just never used before in Madden, and this is the first time I ever used them. So that's how I usually do this award. So uh, our first runner up is going to be brian birds for agency card never used a brian birds card a day in my life he ended up getting eagles cam because of the you know the phrase and stuff which a lot of those guys did which i actually used a lot of those guys the first time but i see out of all those phrase cards i used he was definitely the best one when i was running that three four this guy was just ruining quarterbacks days now this runner up right here kevin byard man never used kevin byard a day in my life in madden and it was really hard for me not to give him this award, but the guy that won it definitely deserves it because he was just like a staple on everyone's team at one point, and he was just great. But it was that he, he, I was even thinking about putting Kevin Byard in contention for almost MVP, but then I remember all those times I manned him up and he kept getting fried by the running back on our route, so I was like, you know what, no. Defensive rookie of the year is going to the 89 overall Troy Palomalu legend card. This card came out the very beginning of the year. I've never used it. I've actually never used a Troy Palomalu card ever in Madden before. This is the first time I ever. I don't even know why I tried him, but I ended up trying him. And when I tell you this man, obviously this is this is like pre KOs and just you know all that stuff. This is just basically ball on ball. Can a guy play or not? And when I tell you this man played everything on the field, I think I had him. I want to say I had him at strong safety. I don't remember. I think I had him at strong safety though. But yeah, no, no, I did. I remember yet yeah, because this guy he played everything. If the ball hit his hands, he usually picked it. I mean, it, he, he was just everywhere. I just remember this guy being everywhere. And I, I just, I like, I remember at one point, like, I was like, yo, the, like, I remember multiple times saying, this is the best defensive player of the game for like a very long time. Because he was on my team for a little bit. And he's also ahead of his time with a lot of the stats. He had like 91 zone, 90 man. Like, that was so ahead of his time. He could kind of do it all. Good tackler. I mean, if you remember this card, then you already know. Next award is going to be Offensive Rookie of the Year. So, same standards as, you know, how I broke it down. With defensive Rookie of the Year. Guys I never used. First runner up is gonna be Darren McFadden. Uh, I don't I don't yeah, I definitely never used a Darren McFadden card in Mutt before. I don't even know the last time he's in Mutt. Got the card for the combine promo free card, got all team chems. It really his only problem was he did have that fumbling issue with the 7 8 carrying, but besides that, man, I had some insane highlights with this card. Our final runner up here is gonna be Albert. Oh, I know you guys remember me using him. This guy was one play touchdown central and the ace offset man when i used to audible to the, i audible over to the wing slot you know streak that outside guy to get right in between that seam he was so fast at the time he's 87 speed i mean he was just, he was like literally one he was faster fa i think he might have been faster than my receivers i don't know the guy was just so fast though and it was it was i had so many one play touchdowns with this guy man he was just so nasty and he made offense a lot easier just being able to just you know, simply put him on a streak and he could just run by almost everybody. Offensive Rookie of the Year is going to Fred Taylor. This has to be probably, I would almost say, the best running back that I used all year. Like, in the beginning of this year, he was, you know, very fast, very big. And, you know, beginning of the year, you got a guy that this this fast and this big. First of all, no one's going to be able to tackle him, which nobody could. And then, in my opinion, I think he had, I would probably say, the second best juke out of all the running backs this year. I think Bo has the best juke. Uh, Eric Dickerson, I well, I would say Eric Dickerson and Fred Taylor's juke is pretty similar, but Fred Taylor's juke is, oh my god, it, it was out of the world. This guy used to just teleport across the whole field. He couldn't be tackled. I remember there was a day where we were averaging like 150, 160 like rushing yards a game. I had multiple 200 rushing yards uh, in a game with this guy. I mean, he was, he, uh, he made it to where I didn't have to pass the ball that much in the beginning of the year, which was great because, you know, quarterbacks sucked in the beginning of the year. We are now on to the more big-time uh, awards. The first one here out of the, all the big ones is going to be Defensive Player of the Year. Pretty big award. Uh, started off with the, the two runner-ups. We got Ray Lewis. Now, I didn't actually use his 86. I had him maxed out at the... Uh, did he actually go up to a 96? That's crazy. Well, whatever he went up to, he went up to like a 96 and this card maxed out he wasn't like he was like 94 speed he wasn't like anything too wild with the speed but i just remember like the time that i used this man he probably had the most pick six i've had out of anyone that i've used in the box besides maybe jordan jordan hicks had a lot too but i like ray lewis i don't know what it was man this guy he i used to get so many picks with him he used to, and, and if it was a pick it was going back for six i don't know what it was like ray lewis if it hit his hands just knew he, he was going back with that thing for a touchdown so Definitely probably one of the best players I used in the box all year. Kevin Byard is the only player on here to be a runner-up twice and not win a single award. So clap it up for Kevin Byard, everybody. 
Defensive player of the year for me has got to go to Asante. This is a tough award because there was a lot of guys. It was between like Asante, Darius Slay, and then uh, I even had Nobney in there. Even though I didn't get, the, didn't use Nobney nowhere near as long as I used Asante and Slay, but you know his abilities were so insane. I had to, you know, he he was kind of in there too. But I gave it to Asante just because I well, first of all, I used Asante till the wheels fell off, and then even when I used him and he was still beyond, you know, out of date. The only downfall of him is, you know, he didn't have pick arts. And he, he, uh, a lot of times he would drop picks, but, like, he didn't give up many passes. Like, you know, he would always be on every route, man. I used to always, you know, babysit. I don't want to say babysit him, but I used to always play him on that bunch side to, you know, make sure he was never on that solo side. But, man, I don't know, man. He just, he always played every single route. Now, it probably helped because like, I had him boosted to, like, 99 zone. And, I, you know, there, there was a lot of stuff that helped with this, but... I used the guy to the wheels fall off, and, you know, he always played good for me. Next award is Offensive Player of the Year, and then the last one after this is MVP. Uh, starting off with the runner-ups, we got, I'm going to go with Devontae Smith. Devontae Smith, this 92 overall card, I remember it came out, like, November. Uh, he was very ahead of his time when he came out, when it came to the speed and a lot of the thresholds he hits. Like, he, like that's why he lasted on my team for so long, because he was just ahead of his time when he came out, which was really good, and... You know, Smitty cards always play so good. He's also one of my, you know, he's my favorite receiver in the NFL. So maybe I'm a little biased there, but this card he got open. He made tough catches. I mean, come on, man. I don't, I don't even gotta say a lot. You guys see me. You saw me use Smitty a lot this year. And the other uh, runner up, I gotta go with Jordan Reed. I gotta go with Jordan Reed. Obviously, not at 80 overall, but honestly, damn near because I used him from the day he came out. He, this is the guy I used. From the day he came out to the day I no longer stopped playing. Like, that is shows how bad the tight ends were for the Eagles team team most of the year. But also how good he was. Because he really was good. He had a very good juke. Uh, and he was just always, he was always a reliable guy. Like, I was always, I, I mean, I every single game since he came out, any game I played, he was out there. And he always had an impact. Like, he, he could get open. Like, he had very underrated after the catch. Had a good juke. Had a good spin. You know, he, he was really good. And, you know, he didn't have any abilities. He was just... The guys went out there and played, man, straight up. Offensive player of the year has to go to Harold Carmichael. And they really both of his cards. His Sugar Rush card and his Legend card. They both really had the same impact. Huge receiver. Can get open. Uh, in my opinion, has one of the best juice that we have seen since the next-gen movement has been added into Madden. He teleports across. He doesn't even need jukebox. He teleports when he jukes. I mean, it's just, you know... He does the abilities aren't a big deal with the receiver position this year. All you got to do is be able to get open. And then if it balls in your hands, be able to make a play. And he could damn sure do that. This right here is our very final award, the MVP award. Now for this one, I only got one runner up. I don't got multiple runner ups for the MVP. There's only a couple guys that I could say put the team on their back this year. And one of them was this man right here, the 93 Jalen Hurts, not the Corley, and damn sure not that 80 overall. God, I hate, oh my God, that 80, that 80 was bad business, man. That, oh God, it was terrible. But uh, the 93, this zero chill card, when he came out, I mean, zero AP gift wrap, gunslinger, Sefi lead, he got everything. He was the guy. And I used him from when he came out, and I'm not even lying to you, I don't know. I used him for a while, man. Like, I, I obviously, in between, I was going to say, tell you, Till Cunningham came out, but I might not be wrong. But in between, I, you know, tried different quarterbacks out. But he was my QB. I, I possibly think Till Cunningham came out. Now, I could be wrong. I I don't know. But I guess I, I, you know, I, I messed around with other quarterbacks. But he was my quarterback. And, I mean, he just made plays, man. He went out there and he made things happen. We won a lot of Super Bowls with this guy. A lot. He made a lot of coins. He made a lot of, he, he helped us get a lot of pieces on the team. You know, at one point he was like, barely even a hundred thousand and he's a guy out there whipping guys asses winning rings we're getting undefeated seasons i think we uh i think we went uh at one point i actually know i wasn't playing chance but i know at one point he went on like some crazy run where we went on like a 25 26 game win streak jalen hurts was a part of that so shout out to big jalen number one the mvp for me was a no-brainer and i seriously mean that like before i made this video i already knew who i was giving the mvp award for that's why you saw this man right here the outside linebacker carl michael this is why you didn't see him in any of the uh what is it called the runner-ups i didn't have he, he didn't he's not a runner-up he's with the mvp he has this has to be the best card that i used for madden 24 man i mean he just 
I'd st- if I was still playing right now, I'd still be using. I would still be using this, man. I don't give a damn. Six foot eight. You can't coach. You can't teach. It's not an ability. It ain't a stat. You gotta just have it, man. I mean, I literally remember when he first came out. He was like ninety five speed for me. You know, obviously the theme team and stuff. He was ninety five speed. And I remember I was gliding from the left sideline to the right sideline effortlessly. I'm talking about gliding. I'm just going sideline to sideline. I'm covering the whole field. For, for at the very when he first came out, it literally felt like last gen Madden with your user, how fast you're moving with him. It was insane. Obviously, it you know doesn't feel like that anymore when you got everybody being 99 speed now. But you know, being able to sit at the line of scrimmage and still be able to pick off like a 25 yard, 30 yard in router. Stuff like that with him being six foot eight, which you can do, uh, you know, that that's just it, it, it just makes your life so much easier be with the user on defense. That's it, though, man. Those are all the awards I got to give out. Some honorable mentions of players that played very good for me this year. Big play slay, as always, really a uh, great player for me this year. Dawkins, even though I only got to use him for that, you know, stint was all Madden card, even though I used that for a while. I mean, I had him at safety at one point, then corner. He was great. Reggie White, I'm surprised we didn't have any Reggie White on here for any awards, but he's, I used him most of the year from the beginning, then he gets the All-Madden, then the Minister, I mean, you know, he, he played a big factor, Javon Curse was a good guy this year, uh, Kevin Byard was in there for a couple awards, but, you know, he didn't end up winning any. You guys let me know down in the comments, what was your favorite card that you used, or your best card that you thought you used this year in Madden 24? For me, it's a car card, man, that's an outside linebacker, that's an easy one for me. If you guys enjoyed the video, man, drop a like. Until the next time, man, I'll see y'all in the next one.